Hey folks, I'm Aslin Law from AZ Entertainment and we are back in Sydney once again with Conjurer and Jane waving over there. I'll just go on over to her so she can wave. There we are. And um, so first day of spring over here in the Northern Hemisphere and um, it's been a cool dark day here in the UK. But um, what is AJ cooking? Do you know I didn't find out until just before we went live that's what AJ does to me. So we're going to go over to Sydney and say hello to Conjurer, Anna Jane. Hi, AJ. Hi there. How are you? I am very well, thank you. What, what have you got? What's that apron you've got on there? Oh, it's just an old apron. Um, there's a festival called the Noosa Food and Wine Festival. And I shouldn't really be wearing a branded apron, but there you go. Never mind. Uh, so... I just thought I would because I'm going to be working with chocolate. No product placement involved, folks, in case you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> right. Tell us, what, what are we cooking? It's an Easter special, so of course it's chocolate. Well, it's Easter, and I just love Easter. So I thought we should go with chocolate. Absolutely. Why not? So what we're going to do is we're going to do like a, 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 a chocolate mousse cake thingy. Okay. And it's not anybody else's recipe. I have stolen. I'm going to do a very quick mousse for starters, okay. though. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about that now. We need to put in 250 grams of chocolate. I want to get it on because we've only got half Yeah, now. okay. All right, let's get the chocolate going. Let's get the stove started. Oh, there we go. Now... Normally you do this over a double boiler, but I'm not going to. All right, so we need 250 grams. In one block there's two, two, um, 200 grams. So it's going to be like a biscuit-based chocolate thingy. Okay, all right, yeah, and that, that's 70% dark chocolate, yeah? Absolutely. When you buy cooking chocolate, you need to buy 70% at least um, because you want – it's kind of a bit tougher to break, isn't it, Asma? Well, it is, especially when it's uh, first thing in the morning in the autumn when your kitchen is a little bit cool, I suppose. Well, actually, you know, small things amuse small minds. I've been so excited that the last couple of nights I've slept because very simply has it been uh, cooler? I, I could use a blanket. Oh <laughs> doesn't take much, does it? I, I um, have to I have to remember that phrase, small minds amuse what? Small things amuse small minds. Yes, I have to remember that phrase. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. So um yeah. So we know that um so if there, are 14, if there are 40 blocks, then eight blocks would be one-fifth, which should be how many grams out of 200? Um, 40 grams. Sorry, I don't work it out. <laughs> oh. Okay, I may have got – I bet my math is actually not too bad, you know. I do homeschool for children. <laughs> I know, but you weren't quick enough. Ah, oh, bummer. You see, this is why I, 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 would, I would never do well on these quiz shows. You're out. That's it. Now, here's a trick. And this is from Nigella Lawson. I've completely lifted it from her because yep. it's so clever. Yep. I wanted to make a mousse. Normally when you make a chocolate mousse, it takes hours to set, blah, blah, blah. She uses, and this is really clever because you don't have to use eggs and it, it covers the sugar component. Yeah. So use marshmallows mm -hmm. so you put the marshmallows in with the chocolate you also put um 60 mils of boiling water okay and you would have a spoon to stir that with Okay, I, I I remember I remember that recipe um, when we first saw it um, when when it first came out. You know whether um, it, well, it, it 
it's very child friendly because you don't need eggs. You don't need uncooked eggs in there. So in there, we've got the chocolate, the marshmallows. Can you see that? Yep. The hot water. Yep. So we're just going to do that and let that just sort of reduce down so that'll be fine. Oh, and butter. Now, here's a, probably everybody watching knows this, but this is a 500 gram thing of butter and on ours, and I'm sure you have it over here, they've got it in 100 gram sections. I need 50 grams, so it makes it oh. very easy to cut off without Oh, pain. I like that. Do you not have that over there? No. Uh, if, oh, any of you, if any of you is in the UK and you've come across butter that's cut up in blocks, please tell me. Well, it's I not can't... cut up, but it's marked, so it makes it very easy. Yeah, marked. No, no, marked. Maybe marked you might find it. But tell me if you know a brand that does it. It's just, I think it must be because Australians were either stupid <laughs> or we didn't have scales or something like that. Now, while this is going on, we need to do a base for the chocolate. Okay, so what we're going to do, I just want to keep an eye on that because I'm uneasy about it not being in a double uh, boiler. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to use as the base these sponge finger biscuits. Um, and I'm going to do a couple of layers of that with the chocolate and those and the and raspberry. So I think it'll be pretty nice. Now, what I did was I made about 350 mils of coffee last night. Okay. And and so to that, I'm going to add because I think always that chocolate and vodka and pomegranates go very well. So I'm going to put in a bit of vodka. Okay. Just because I can, really. Yeah. And I'm also going to put in some uh, pomegranate syrup because I okay. love pomegranate yep. and raspberries. Yep. We've, we've definitely seen that on um, uh, on your show before. Vodka and pomegranate? No, just, a, yeah. pom just a pomegranate. Before. Oh, yeah. Love pomegranate. So, oh, oh, never mind. Okay. So it's very simple. And... To do the base, grab one of these biscuits. Ladies fingers, I'll have your D biscuits. Yeah. And you just need to put them in here for a minute. Because they need to stop up a bit of coffee. Okay, you don't want them to be falling apart when you put them in the in the um, in the base. Mm. Okay, so that's going to fit quite nicely, which is good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say hi to those folks in the audience. Um, um, Namal, Morris, Leroy, Yasmina. Hi, folks. Did did Morris? Did you see that Morris is coming to Australia? Is that Morris May? Yes, I think he was going to do a stopover, and I, and I went, you can't just stop over for a few hours. Adrian lives in Sydney. Oh, he goes. So I yeah. live in the best city in the world. That'll be good. That'll be good. Okay, so you can see here how that's really, it's such, I cannot believe, she must have fabulous people working for her too. See how this is just really sort of starting to mix up? Mm. Very clever. I love clever things, Asim. Now, meanwhile, we need some cream to make the mousse. So, oh, it's so, 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 so for those, while while AJ is um, struggling with that uh, cream carton, I'll just bring you to me. For those of you who've just joined us, AJ is doing. Uh, what is she doing? I'm joking. She's it's, doing a chocolate. I, it doesn't have a name. It's a chocolate moussey thing cake, and I need about three hundred mils of cream. She's making chocolate mousse egg-free using marshmallows, um, a Nigella recipe. That's yeah, what is me. So oh, I guess it's it's like a coffee chocolate, a coffee chocolate moussey nice dessert thing. Call it. Somebody can come up with the name, Asuka. Thingy, thingy. That's it. Thingy. Thingy. Yeah, it's, okay, a, it's, a, it's an Easter. It's an Easter thingy. Well, you know what? If you've got coffee and chocolate, you can start off by calling it mocha something. So, 
Mocha something. Come on, finish. Get us a title for this recipe. So she's just heating up the cream now. She's got chocolate and marshmallow in the pan. She's just cheating slightly by going straight on the hob. But if you do melt your chocolate straight on the hob instead of in a bain marie in a, in a double boiler, please, no flame and keep an eye on it. So AJ's got, um, she's soaked some Saviardi biscuits on ladies' fingers. You can see in that bowl there. She soaked them in a mixture of, um, what was it, coffee, um, pomegranate syrup, and vodka. And um, that's what you see in the glass dish right in front of her on the um, counter. And, of course, into your, um, unless I can't get, I don't know what's the matter with me this morning. I've got no strength. Okay, so you need about a teaspoon of, Vanilla. True vanilla in the cream because you just always do. Wow. I can't hear that. Okay. So you want your cream not to be hard whipped, so you don't want it so it's got so much air in it and it's almost dry, but you want it to have a good, a good, you know you what I'm saying? Yeah, you want, you, want, you want it with soft peaks, so when you lift it up, the peaks will just droop slightly instead of standing well, up. it's kind of, it's stronger than a soft peak, but okay. it's... Okay, know, all right, yeah, okay. Okay, so, that's all good, so we'll just let that sort of... Now, if it's got a little bit of a white streak to it, I'm not concerned at all. Mm. But you can see here we've got a nice chocolate blobby mess, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for... A blobby chocolate mess. A blobby chocolate mess. I'm very, very sophisticated with my cooking. Indeed. And, 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 and on, that note, on, on that note, let me bring up this comment from Leroy. He hopes that AJ writes a book with her recipes. There you go. <laughs> yes, I'm sort of meant to be doing that. Uh, Leroy, if you've, if you've missed it, we need a recipe for, and we need a title for today's recipe. So, because we yeah. can't be calling it a chocolate blobby mess now. Hey, maybe we can. Hey, maybe we can. A mocha blobby mess. Mocha blobby mess. But it's a really, I think this is a really sort of, um, Easy, a quick and easy recipe. Quick, quick, easy. And the whole idea is that, oh, look, I say it every time. Cooking should be fun. It shouldn't be remotely traumatic. So, so I'm just going, do you reckon that will be cool enough? Yeah. Bring, take it off the pan. Take take it off. Take, uh, sorry, take it off the um, oh, unit. Okay. Yeah. It's off. Yeah, but still take it off the hot cooker. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is, because I'm me, I'm just going to do it in the sauce. Good, good idea. Um, Morris, Morris, Morris would like to lick the whisk. The whisk crane. He, he'd like to lick the whisk as all kids do. So now you know when Morris goes and pays uh, you a visit in Sydney, where in May... We he we will be doing a show. Oh yes, absolutely. Now the other thing is that see how the texture of this chocolate. See, yes. normally when you mix when you cook chocolate and you or you heat chocolate, it's very liquid. And if you right about now, if you're making chocolate mousse, you'd have to be madly whipping the egg yolks through mm. it, and you'd have to be waiting till it cooled down because otherwise they'd cook and all that sort of thing. So um, it's, I, I think this is one of the sort of cleverest recipes I've come across for a long time. Okay, so we just need to fold in the cream. Okay. Yeah, you can see the texture of the cream, folks. It's, it's flowing nicely in there, softly whipped. So you just need to fold that through. Okay. 
So we've got one contender for the uh, recipe name. So Leroy says, um, how about AJ chocolate mocha mousse cake? AJ yeah, that works. Mocha mousse cake. Hey, it's an alliteration, mocha mousse cake. I like it that. Is. I like that. It's an alliteration. Oh, I love the color of that, how it's turned. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Now, I can. You, can everybody see that? It's sort of. It's still creamy on top and darker underneath. But yes. Can you see that? Asa? Yes. Yes. It'll. 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 Eventually, it'll come together. Keep stirring. Basically, is what AJ. Yeah. That's is silently exactly. telling you. Now I'm. I don't mind it having a little bit of that streak through it. I quite like that look. And all it is is the fat going to the top, isn't it, Aslan? Really? Yeah. You could, with the lady's fingers, um, and, and this is something people do in trifles, don't they? You could substitute them with just a plain old sponge cake perhaps as well, a Madeira cake yeah. or something, yeah? There we are. Okay. Can you see that? Perfect. Yeah, that's all. And now it looks all soft, but trust me, once you get it in there. So we're going to do a layer of that. And then... Oh, it tastes nice. It's not too sweet. And then we're going to do some you raspberry. Did. Now, what I've done is I've purposely used a sort of a, a clear container. Yeah. Move your move your glass bowl just ever so slightly to your left, AJ, by, by a couple of inches. That's it. Perfect. Yep. So I'm just putting some strawberries in here. Raspberries or strawberries? Uh, raspberries. Thank okay. you. It's very early here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just after 7 in the morning in Australia, folks. So we're just going to do another row of these biscuits. Maurice says the colour is amazing. Yeah, look, I, I'm hoping it will actually taste amazing. No, we're not supposed to say that on a live show. Oh, sorry. But I think it will. So, yeah, so it's just, it's just a bit of a layering thing. Now, hold back some, because we're going to do another one, hold back some of your strawberries for the top. Okay. They're raspberries. They're raspberries. Sorry, raspberries, raspberries, raspberries. Chocolate tiramisu, another contender for the, for the um, name. Actually, that's probably pretty good, I think. Oh, thank you, Yasmina. Chocolate and how about chocolate and raspberry tiramisu, maybe? Yes, because it has got the coffee component. Now, I think that looks absolutely ridiculous. It looks so chocolatey. I suppose it is, really. So, um, yeah, so on the top, and I did that a couple of hits on the bottom. The reason that I would do that is because the biscuits, you want the chocolate to go sort of right around them, don't you, Aslan? No. Because you wouldn't want, um, you certainly wouldn't want, um, oh, my God, I've done it in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I always get panicked about the half hour because I always think, um, you need to be really organised, but that's just... No, no. We've had, we've had shows where we couldn't find our rolling pin and forgot... Well, not you, but I remember Cook with Sally forgot the butter or something. But, hey, that's the joy of live shows. It is, isn't it? So, sorry, I'm sticking my finger in there because I'm thinking I might put another layer of biscuits. I on think the top. that's a good idea. I think I think the contrast in colour would be good as well. So I'm just going to soak those, and let's hope it doesn't fall over, fall over, overflow. Yeah, I think that's looking good. So you could really, um, you could make uh, the the, the um, soft nature of the mousse um, suggests and would be good if you made individual tiny portions as well. Well, I kind of forgot. I meant to keep enough to make an individual portion, which I can do. I'll show you what that'll look like. My goodness, that's right on the top. 
Oh, that's all right. It's we, if we, if it overflows, we'll call it a rustic chocolate tiramisu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I reckon the the um the contrast in color. Yeah, is good. Just bear with me for one minute. So for, for those for those of you um, who've just joined us, AJ's making a an Easter dessert. Um, she's made it in about 20 minutes. Um, it's a chocolate mousse uh, using marshmallows, which those of you who love Nigella will know it's a Nigella recipe. That's a different well, No, the mousse is Nigella. Yeah, the chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse with, with uh, marshmallows. She's doing um, a chocolate mousse with um, lady's fingers and raspberries, and we'll go back to her and see how she's doing now. Right. Well, she's doing very well. It's now overflowing, so it's turned into a oh, chocolate mousse. Oh, that's cake. nice. Love the raspberries on top. Mm. Now, the only thing that I would do on top of that is I probably would put... Um, it's just hysterical. Can you see this? I've got a whole sort of overflow thing happening. But that's okay. Um, now, um, yeah, that's, I'm quite happy with that. Now, the only thing that I would do is I would probably put some icing sugar on the top. Okay. Um, which I wasn't thinking about. I'm just, um, Maurice May, I'm just typing in the name of the biscuits, uh, of the um, the lady's fingers you're asking for. They're called lady's fingers, but there's also a name for it if you want to buy them. And and they're, and they're the ones that are um, used in um, tiramisu. So there you go, Maurice, it's in the event stream now. Oh, look, who knows where the icing sugar is? Who cares? Does it matter? No. So, um... Yeah, so you could put a blob of cream on it. I don't think it needs it. I rather like this look. And what we'll do is we'll just shave a bit of chocolate on the top. Yeah. And that will, I think, look pretty good. Oh, look, you know, really. So it's, it's, it's um, you know, we are usually this disorganized. <laughs> it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Wait. Wait for next month's show because by then the clocks would have moved forward in the UK. And they'll and AJ will be doing her show at five o'clock in the morning as opposed to seven. So if you think this is fun, <laughs> well, I can't find the grater either. I don't know why. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? So a nice serrated knife will do what I need it to do anyway. You've got a you've got a volunteer to, to help. Uh, Maurice May is um, offering to help lick up the chocolate waterfall. <laughs> That's what it could be. It could be chocolate waterfall cake. Indeed. Hey, you could even make it intentionally like that and call it a chocolate tiramisu waterfall. How about that, Yasmina? Yeah. So I think is finishing up her 20-minute chocolate dessert and she's just grating some um, dark chocolate all, all, all over the raspberries. And Hang on, occasionally I'm grating in just a little bit of foil. <laughs> and that, that would and, be so gorgeous if somebody has an amalgam filling. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, <laughs> I felt that. And, and if she could have found her icing sugar, she would have sprinkled some icing sugar over. I might have, but I kind of, in a way, I prefer it just with. Yeah, that looks um, good, AJ. That looks good. That looks good. Run us, run us, talk us through the recipe again for those of uh, those who are joining us late. Okay. Basically, I've made a cheats mousse, and I have completely lifted the recipe from Nigella Lawson. Um, and that is just chocolate and marshmallows, some butter and a bit of hot water and cream. And it's meant to set instantly. Well, it hasn't, so I don't know what that is. But anyway, it doesn't matter because it will set firmly and I'll, I will put up a shot of when we eat it tonight. Um, I've also used these 
Over here, because we're very unsophisticated, I've used these biscuits, but in Australia they call them sponge finger biscuits. Very um, what I've done with those is I have put into a container here, I've put some very strong coffee. It's about two or three tablespoons of very fine Lavazza coffee and only about 300 and put about 400 mils of water in because when you do the plunger, you'll lose about 50 to 100 mils. Then into that, I have put some vodka, just a splash and a dollop, and I've also put some pomegranate stuff. Mm, pomegranate syrup. Uh, Again, another, uh, I've put the pomegranate syrup, not the molasses, the syrup, and I've done a bit of a blob into the coffee as well, and that way you should get the flavour right in the biscuits. I've then just layered, really. I've just put the biscuits, the mousse, you could if you wanted, and I, I did sort of think about this, you could if you wanted, you could do um, biscuits, mousse, cream, biscuits, mousse, cream. Like a trifle. Mm. Yeah, and then you get more of a striped look of the chocolate and mm. you could be more organised and get chocolate, raspberries, cream, mm. chocolate, raspberries. I completely love disorder. So for me, I like the fact that people think this is all chocolate and when they go in, they're going to find these lovely plump raspberries. Mm. So for me, that's more my style. And um, I like the fact that it all looks chocolate. Yes. Mm. And that's just me. You, and, could, and you, could, you could also use just a sponge cake if you had some old sponge cake around and wanted to do something with it. You could also almost um, use that uh, that chocolate mousse and make it and use cream and make a variation on a trifle, which would be fun. So you could throw jelly in and anything else that you wanted. You could do raspberry jelly and the raspberries. That might be cute if you wanted a chocolate mm -hmm. trifle. Um, you know, I mean, as you know, I just I just make things. You know, I just cook them in my head and then I make them. That's really what I do. And, and, and you know, that's that's for, for some people, that's the best way. And that's why we love your shows, AJ, because they're quick, they're doable, they're very doable. And, and you know, and, and, and sometimes, sometimes we see imperfection. And, and, and that's what cooking, I'm, I, 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 not in the flavor. I'm just talking about the fact that we didn't plan ahead and it's overflowing. So... Well, because I was I was just going to put raspberries on the top, but because the mousse is not as solid as I would have thought it would have been, I thought I'll put another layer of biscuits which overflowed the chocolate. Now, just while we've got time. Okay, I'll just bring up this comment from um, Namal. He says that they've got uh, finger biscuits in Sri Lanka with ginger flavouring in them. Okay. Do you think that would now, work, ginger and chocolate, AJ? Oh, absolutely. Match made in heaven. I'd probably hold, um, I'd hold back probably on the, possibly on the pomegranate and the, and the, uh, what's that other thing? Vodka. Did you, was, was the pomegranate syrup the only sugar that went in there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So it's not, it's not an outrageously sweet dessert because mm. I don't have an outrageously sweet tooth. There's sugar in the biscuits, sugar in the marshmallows. Chocolate itself has sugar, but when you're using 70% chocolate, it's not it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be anything that is sweet. Totally sweet. Mm, mm. So are you just, just doing a, a, an individual um, portion now? Well, no, this will be something completely different because I haven't got enough chocolate to do it. But what we're going to do is we're just going to put some biscuits with some chocolate. This would still make a perfectly nice dessert. But you could do individual ones of these and they'd be really lovely as well. <coughs> I guess the point of doing this is there's – what I want you to see is that there really are no rules. Actually, 
absolutely no rules, nor should there be, because the whole thing is that So it just it's just, just showing you what you can do with leftover chocolate and whipped cream. But with this one, I'm going to put cream. Oh, now you're talking as far as I'm concerned. Sorry? Now you're talking as far as I'm concerned. See, I, I, I am not. I love chocolate, but... To love chocolate desserts better, there's got to be cream for me. Yeah, well, I mean, you could put cream on this. I just personally. Oh, so, oh, yes. Please, Yasmina. Yasmina says maybe some Baileys. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there you've got something that's really quick, really simple. So you can do, you could do. You could make this go a million miles, but just get a champagne glass, champagne saucer, and, you know, I think that could work quite nicely. And see how the chocolate's gone to the bottom? Yeah. So you're going to get, you're going to get your mousse a bit. Yeah. Probably in an ideal world. I did toss up with doing individual ones or doing one big one, and I thought I'll just do a big one because usually I would go individual but see, I think that's really pretty. I think so too, yes. And it's, you know, it, there, there is no, um, that's so casual. It's got such a casual look about it. And um, it's perfect, really, for friends coming over. So. I loathe, loathe, loathe contrived food. I loathe it. I, I just hate, I, I hate the concept of things being so contrived that they all, you know, it's not my thing. Unless I'm in a five-star Hatted restaurant, and then I expect it to be absolutely contrived. But I think when you know, when you're just your average cook like me, you just need things to taste good, <clears throat> and you need them to be presentable. I will take a photo of this because I can't lift it up. Do you want to? No, we uh, have, no. The um, you know, since we've been off air for a few months while I was travelling, um, the camera features disappeared from hangouts as oh, well so that's that's okay. very very strange close you close your eyes and then things change but anyway folks so this was our easter special aj made some chocolate mousse um child friendly chocolate mousse using marshmallow from a nigella lawson recipe that i'm sure the whole world has heard has heard about or not as case maybe um and she paired it up with um the chocolate mousse uh, was topped with some Ladies fingers have your already biscuits dipped in uh, delicious coffee flavored with vodka and pomegranate syrup. Now watch the show for the recipe. Will you be putting the recipe up, AJ? I will put the recipe up. No okay. problem at all. I just I didn't want to put the recipe up before I'd made it because I had made this in my head, but I'd never made it. So she's going to put the recipe up for you guys because the recipe was in her head as she made it. So um, it's a lovely casual Easter dessert. So you guys have got friends coming over. You want a casual look, make it in a big portion. Everybody can dip in or make them in individual champagne glasses. Um, so uh, coffee glasses, coffee cups would look lovely too. Yes, uh, I've got little, and, and actually, while you're, hang on a minute. It has, Morris says, ever, ever the man with uh, profound Thoughts. Yes, it has a simplistic complexity. Marvelous. Now, <laughs> now, if you have brandy balloons, does anybody have brandy balloons anymore? I, I, I do. I certainly do. For desserts, you know, I don't drink brandy. Beautiful, beautiful for puddings because they've got a lovely wide base and they taper up. The other thing is just a little sherry glass. Sherry glass. Mm. Lovely thing. So what you should do... And I always recommend this, and I do it myself. Go trawling around your second-hand shops. You will find it doesn't matter if the glasses are all different as long as they're similar. So same, same, but different. Find yourself some vintage um, champagne sauces. Um, find yourself some little sherry glasses. 
And sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll find little, they're almost like a little pudding glass with a handle, won't you? Um, yeah, yeah. And they're, they're the most wonderful thing because you put that on a plate and serve it up with someone, something and it, it just makes it that much special. But don't panic about having to have, you know, a dozen all the same. Just as long as they're a similar size and they've got a similar flow through. So I think you, that's a good idea. Mm. It, it's great. And I'm, I'm, I'm going away on the 4th of April. I'm doing a trip up the east coast of Australia um, to see some clients and things. And, and I will be calling in at all these lovely little old old wares stores they are really and I'm going to look for some more champagne sauces because I just love them they're great to serve anything in well oh, that's wonderful do you know I I, uh, I just celebrated a big birthday last week and uh, my I kids... know. sorry I meant to bring that up happy 50th birthday okay now everybody knows no, I'm joking everybody does know I made a post about it um <laughs> My, my, my kids, you know, they're so lovely. They went out with my husband and they shopped and they bought stuff for me, for my blog. So I've got all sorts of pretty plates, uh, pretty cups, pretty glasses, you know, of, of different colors and designs. So I'm really looking forward to using them for my blog. But I, I, want, I, I wanted to bring this comment up from Yasmina. Um, it says, uh, cheers, Anna Jane, looks wonderful. Great tip using marshmallows. It would be nice to have a couple of small marshmallows on top with raspberries. That's a good idea, especially for kids. And uh, well, she says, she says can't, can't wait to lab this recipe. Uh, okay. Can I just tell you? Yep. This is a first world problem. You can only buy pink and white marshmallows, and I only want the white ones. <laughs> So you put a bag of pink. So I have a whole swag of pink marshmallows. <laughs> Personally, um, you could put marshmallows on the top. I'm not really a major marshmallow fan unless I make it myself. And for me, I like the simplicity of just the raspberries. But if you were to have, you can get, and well, yeah, see, Yasmin is in, in, in Canada. So for her, they're a lot more into sort of sweets over there. So she can probably find the tiny little marshmallows, which would look really cute. You know, the tiny weeny little things? Yes, we've got but them. they look really cute on the top, but big, bulgy, hideous ones won't. <laughs> yes, we've got, we've got those tiny ones. I mean, I think they'll be good for kids um, and, um, you know. So, listen, we're going to say we're going to wrap it up. Um, Here's a last comment from uh, Morris. Um, thank you, Morris. Love you guys too. Morris is so funny. Okay. Sometimes in the morning, um, I'll be, or his morning rather, my afternoon, I'll be speaking to him on Twitter and I'll go to G Plus and I'm talking to him on G Plus and I'm getting our conversations mixed. So um, anyway, so there There's is enough a, chocolate on the table to make another dessert. There you go. Just don't, don't, don't tell your guests you actually wiped it off the kitchen counter and put it in their glass. I'm joking. Righty here, folks. That was our Easter show. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, we may be moving over to Blab soon. But if we do, we'll let you know so you can catch up with us over there. Well, everybody should get a Blab account. Um, yes. Everybody get a Blab account. Yes. Yes, you want to have a Blab account. AJ and I are thinking of moving over to Blab for the simple reason that... I believe people are struggling to view the shows on their mobiles and on their tablets. So, but whatever, watch this space. We'll tell you what's happening. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining. Hang on, AJ. I'll pass it over to you. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to go over to AJ to say goodbye, to take us out. Yeah. The other thing with Blab is what it allows us to do is to bring you in so we can see your face and you can speak to us. Yes, indeed. Yes, we'd like to hear you and we'd like to see you. Just yes, for a minute, come in so we don't have to have a live comment stream. We can have that, but occasionally we can bring you in and you can say hi. All righty. Okay, so thanks so much. AJ, take us out. I hope everybody has an absolutely wonderful Easter um, or a holiday, uh, depending on where you are. 
I hope that you enjoy it with your family and friends and eat lots of chocolate, eat too much chocolate, and then you won't eat it for the rest of the year. <laughs> All right. Back. Thanks, folks. Just a final word, final um, word from uh, Maurice. Maurice says you can use your Twitter account to set up Blab. That's right. That's what I did. So it's really quick and easy. Thank you so much, folks, from AJ and me. Bye now. <laughs>